Hello, welcome back to Mark's Garage. This is the choke assembly off the holly and I've taken it out of the ultrasonic cleaner. I've assembled it up using the parts. This part here is from my original one. Um, that part there is from the original one and this part here is from the donor carburetor. And you can see that it's quite free moving that moves that moves quite freely just falling down under its own weight with my housing this piston was getting stuck down here um, the other thing is as well is that that piece there moves freely under its own weight. This is up this way. When the choke is on it goes like that and then as it comes off this needs to be out this this will oh, maybe I can show you like this. That's how it is when the choke is on and then as the choke goes off this comes down and this needs to be able to follow under its own weight. And because there is um, a white there look, which I've cleaned it up on the wire wheel, appears to be steel, that falls down under its own weight. This would never have worked with my parts because that weight was missing. And I couldn't find a good enough photograph to show the piece. Oh, there's the old one mine was missing so it, it, it never had the um, there's a slight tendency for it to come down under its own weight but not enough okay so I will start to reassemble this then I don't think there's anything too tricky about it so I won't show it in detail there are much better um, videos out there you know there's many 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 videos about reassembling hollies so i'll leave it to those guys but to be honest i think i'm the only person trying to reinstate a hot air um, choke assembly everybody else is either fitting electric or manual okay righto well that's a good start isn't it i'll bring you back when there's more to show i'm going to put this choke on It's that little blanking piece that goes for the choke rod. I'll clean the choke rod up as well. That goes up through there. Sort of get up there like that, and then it goes into there. And it has a little clip that you have to put on. I'll, I'll put it on after. Okay. I've heard these referred to as these. These are referred to as Jesus clips because when they fly off, you go, Jesus, where did that go? easier to put it on from that side because I've got better access for the to get in okay right okay I've stuck the gaskets on I've stuck the little washers on with a bit of grease That piece there has to go through there, but underneath that. I 
I'm talking like an expert. I'm, I'm not. Okay, so... Yeah, that's it. That just dropped down there when I move the pedal. Okay. Move the throttle. Okay. So as I, as I move that, that should drop down. Now there's another little clip in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and clean this clip up because uh, this is the only one I've got. I have got a two barrel carb with one on, maybe that's in better condition, but I'll go and clean this up. I'll make that look a bit better. A gasket. You ain't gonna see much, are you? You can't see much there, can you? There's a gasket. And there's a piece. It goes inside. Like that. So where does that go, do you think? Or does it does it have both of them gaskets or just the one? I think it just has the one actually, thinking about it. I think it has that gasket like that. That gasket only has one hole in it. That's set at the um, the mark. There's a mark on there. There's like a, a mark there, so I've set it there. Um, yeah, I don't know if this will work or not. I've got to put a clip somewhere in there. I'll get a light and try and do it. I'll just be in the way of the camera, I know, but you know, it's a bit hard really, a bit difficult. Where's that light? Should we start it up there and see what happens? I've never ever tried to start this car with a choke on before. Oh, okay. I just thought I haven't got the hot air thing on, have I? Hang on, let me fit that.
Okay, well that should draw some hot air up when it gets hot. Okay. much of a fast side loves it. Ah hang on a sec. You're supposed to um you're supposed to floor the pedal aren't you to set the choke I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a little bit of warmth that's got a little bit of warmth now, so maybe it won't work. Ah, oh, that's set the choke. Can you see that the flap's closed now? So let's see if that gives it a fast idle. Let me look down here. Yeah, this is up now, this lever thing. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> Proven anything now, is it because the choke is off? But at least it is off. When I had my mechanism on there, it wouldn't, it would, the, the lever wouldn't go far enough down to bring the choke all the way up like that. So that's good. Let's see if that falls down when I move the pedal. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, that's good. Okay, right. Right ho. Well, there we are. I imagine there'll be some more tinkering when it's cold again. But at least everything is in place. At least everything is in place. And it looks okay and it looks factory, doesn't it? Slotted screws everywhere. The only thing that doesn't look factory is two gaskets there. But it, it might be that the metering block from the other car would go on here and work okay, I don't know. I might try it. 
but yeah that's pretty good good bit of tinkering there and that's idling nice now I don't know how I would test to see if the secondaries are working I imagine what I want to do is give it a little drive around because I haven't actually driven it with the secondaries I'm going to leave it at that because I think I've done quite well um, yeah it's running nice isn't it I bet there aren't many of these running with that hot air choke ah oh, there probably are but you know it's people that have taken good care of the cars and had you know really kept on top of them I hope you've enjoyed me doing this carburetor tinkering you know what I'm like I'm dogged and determined and I, I won't leave something until I think I've got it right and I think I've got this right now I've got um, I've got a thing for the distributor for the vacuum advance so I hope to get that on at some point that'll obviously be in a future video okay thank you very much for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for clicking like it all helps the channel um, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the next one cheers then bye right we're in the Thunderbird it's a sunny day I've finished well, I don't know if I've finished but I've been working on the carburetor we've got the original float bowl the original metering body the original secondary metering body and the secondary meter, uh, float bowl all in place vacuum secondary diaphragm jiggled about to work and the choke hooked up as well let's give it a run the sun's out and the forecast is that it's not going to be very nice for a few days so I thought I'd get out today while I can
don't know why, but I always adopted a left foot braking technique with this car. Just a little exploratory half throttle pull there. If I can, I'll try and give it some wider throttle on the other road. Wow, the motorway is completely jammed solid. Bootful from the line from the lights. Steering feels a bit heavy. Seems to go okay, I'd say. 
you know, 50 mile an hour limit on that bit of road, so that was a 0 to 50. Go down here so I've got nobody behind me, I'll give it another go. Maybe just do a slow rolling start. Metering blocks. So yeah, so that's good, isn't it? Can you imagine this on the streets in England in 1957 with the hundred A's and the I thirties? like a rocket sled on rails wouldn't it okay it's a bit too busy for a proper road test today but I just wanted to test that it was driving okay and it is driving okay it's driving really well isn't it I'm amazed how well it goes you know even to the point of spinning the wheels on a dry road like this I'm not going to do it again now, there's too much traffic about. There was the vaguest hesitancy then. I think it is my speedo that's making a noise. to accelerate but uh, you know <laughs> you want to just get going sometimes don't you stable though you know it's not trying to stall the um, gearbox feels nice and firm doesn't it a wide open Ooh, not supposed to do that the gearbox feel, feel, feels nice and the gearbox feels nice and firm doesn't it a wide open throttle it's not like it's slipping
the other job I did on my doors has made the car less rattly that a success then I might try and have a look at the distributor next because I there's a Ferrari there I uh, locked the points plate down so I don't know if the vacuum advance thing works the, the, the diaphragm um, test that see if it does I've got a new points plate I ordered a new old stock one it just cropped up on eBay so hopefully that'll fit and I can get the distributor working properly as well okay call it good for that we'll call it good at that then you take care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the next one cheers then bye